We want to have some chickens, uh, chicks, um, so what we do, we go and get fertilized egg. Fertilized egg is the egg that the chicken has laid them after mating with a rooster. So the hen has mated and is fertilized. So espermatozoid has gone into the egg and now it is there. So if you put it under a chicken, which is sitting now, is broody in the coop, they may, because they will keep warm after 19, 20 days, 21 days, they will hatch, they will come into life. And uh, that's what we have done. We have went to a farm and take uh, six eggs. Uh, and if you ask me, I think all of them are bantam chickens. So this one is green, this one is very small, probably one of those miniature ones. This is another green bantam. And these are all different eggs. So we will see how they will do. Uh, the eggs are quite small, so this will give us some bantam eggs, bantam chickens. I will uh, put them under the chicken, or put the chicken, or lati tomorrow. Okay, now you have your eggs, but before putting them under the chicken, you must get sure that they don't get mixed up with the eggs that the chickens are laying. So you have to mark them. The best way to mark them is using a, is better to use a permanent ink, like a CD marker or something like that, permanent ink felt pen or something. Um, I don't recommend a pencil or um, ball pen, ballpoint pen, because that may actually crack your thing. But uh, if you don't have anything, else, just use it. The thing is that permanent ink will not get uh, rubbed off by the moisture or by the body of the feathers of the other chickens sitting on it. So I have to mark it. So I start to mark. Otherwise they get mixed up with the others. It's better to make uh, this cross and mark them at several points. So if one gets dropped off, the others will stay. Okay, now I have marked them well several spots, so <laughs> there is no way they make a mistake. If I see any of them are fading, I will just go and uh, mark them again. You will see how they will do. Okay, today is the 26th of the March, it's Saturday, and I'm now going to put the fertilized eggs under the chickens. These are the fertilized eggs that uh, I've marked. Now I'm going to put them under the sheet. This is the broody hen, Lottie. Lottie, you're sitting on a non fertilized eggs at the moment, so I have to remove you, Lottie. Put them here. These are non fertilized eggs. The, uh, the, lays, the chickens have laid them. I'm 
taking away these eggs which they have laid today. <laughs> now I will put her now we put her back where she has to go. That is over there. Check eggs. The eggs which are fertilized. Lottie, Lottie, you're a mummy. You're a mummy. I'll bring you some food. That is her other chick, that uh, now is a chicken, she lays, but she was also from fertilized egg. We just put the other time, I think this was 2014, we put two eggs, and one of them, for both of them hatched, but one of them was killed later by fox, this one survived, so that is Sylvie, this is Lottie. <laughs> And because the coop is taken by the lottie at the moment, <laughs> the chickens go and lay their eggs also here. <laughs> have to be. So now we have in total five eggs. One of them is a smaller, one of them is a gigantic, the rest of them are normal. That looks like a phantom. Anyway. Um, I'm going now to do a little bit tidy up. It's a bit drizzling rain, but a lot man needs tidying. How to start a, a flock of chicks? Okay, you have your fertilized egg, you put them under the chicken, you mark them. Uh, it's now almost 19 days past. 18, 19 days passed. You're waiting for what? What? What is the result? That is the chicks. So you, at this stage, you have to build the enclosure, put the mother separate. If you have other chickens and uh, they don't have other places for going for laying their egg, they will come to the same place. And practically, what they will do is to trample any chick that may come, may hatch. So you have to protect your uh, chicks, so that's what we do. I made a little enclosure and I put a pet carrier over it a little bit uh, shelter from the rain. And uh, the mother, the foster mother and the chicks are inside. I will make a little close up so you can see. That's the first mom, Lottie. Now we are waiting for the moment. I listened to the chicks. My wife listened to them, uh, to the eggs. And she could hear some tapping. Uh, so we are waiting to see what will happen tomorrow, probably. Who knows? God willing. So this is the enclosure I'm talking about. I had two raspberry rows in this part of the allotment. And between them was uh, the space was enough to put this uh, part of the bigger uh, chicken coop that I had, chicken run that I had, just uh, using it for separating the others from the mom and the uh, eggs and chicks. And you put some food and some water. Of course, I will come later. Probably I will change the food to a feeder hanging, so protecting it from the. Rats. At the moment we don't have much problem with the rats because I think that our mouse trap is working. Spring is in there. Now it is the day twenty one, and the chick is coming out.
I can't even hear the little noise of the chicks. Oh, that is beautiful. Lottie, you did it again, mashallah, God bless you. Oh, Let me see. Third move, one. move, move it, move it up, move it up. And that one's hatching. Oh, they're like her. One, two. Oh, bless them. Okay, cover it. The other one is black and uh, yellow. Okay, okay. Leave it to me, I will do it. It is called as birth tooth. Don't move it close, please. Thank you. This is the remnants of the tooth from the dinosaur times, just right at the peak. It's amazing. Please don't move it, I'm filming. Please don't move it. Okay. Lottie and his chicks. And it was in the weather forecast that we will have a frost probably tonight. So I came here, put some, putting some uh, glass around here, glass and uh, yeah, other material, just to give them a little bit, take the edge of the frost. Of course, the mom will try to give them the rest. She is very th hungry. Lottie and her chicks which were born today. It's very exciting. Today is Saturday, uh, 16th of April 2016. And this 22nd day, the chicks were out. So it means one day after putting the eggs under Lottie, the biological process of hatching has started. So. These are not her real eggs, they were fertilized egg we got from a farm. Uh, four of the chicks are out, but yet we have two more to go. Beautiful Saturday. Nice day in spring, but tonight we may have frost, so I came here to protect them. Okay, these are the chicks which were born in the 
think 10, 18 or 17 of the April. Today is the 7th of May. This one I think is a rooster, or the one you see at Sancher. It's bigger than the other ones. And already you see the comb is forming. So it can be a rooster. The other ones I cannot be sure, but they look more like chickens or bantams. They are quite hot, so I have to remove these things around them so they can be a little bit cooling. Lottie and her chicks. Oh, he's hitting one of the kids. Why? Huh? She's shrouding them up. Oh, no. He was... Uh, let us take all of them. No, look. He's picking that one. Well, I'm not surprised because she disturbed her. No, no. He's doing several times now. I think it's like a stepmother behavior. No, she's not. Look, she's again, not. again. Doing she's with that. to get them on her. Okay, what I will do, I will take them and put them under her. She died in the when I come with the telephone. What's it died? Huh? Okay, you can stop it, you know. Stop here. Uh -huh. That just starts. Over the mom. That's not your phantom, hey? I think some of these chicks will end up like her. They look like phantom. This one to the right looks as if she is going to be a blue lace or phantom blue lace. We will see. Okay, I think that uh, probably 20th of May I will let them go out. By then, hopefully, they are big enough. Yeah, when I came, the mom went there, so everybody moved. It's good in a way that they're not really tame. I'm 
going out to remove this protection from the frost that I put here. Tomorrow will be really hot and I don't want them to suffer. Cheeks are really ground big now. Almost one third the size of the mop. This one to the right, I think is a rooster. The rest of them I think are ants. Playing hide and seek. <laughs> and the other chickens gradually are getting used to them. That is Maggie. She is now the top chicken. Yeah, I think they're now a few days less than a month old. Sorry, I'm sitting in a very awkward position, so the camera maybe is not a straight horizontal. Those chickies are stupid. They hear their mom, they cannot go, or are they afraid for my hand? We can go from this side. I think that's my hand is making. <laughs> fighting for the place in under mom's wing. <laughs>
phantom chicken is not big enough for them. <laughs> Chickens, uh, which are chicks now, <laughs> one month and uh, five days old, or four days old. Today is the 22nd of the, mm, May 2016. That big one looks like a rooster, this one at the center. This other one is also a rooster, the one at the black, the black and white one. All of them are so I don't know. <laughs> no, they cannot be all of so. them. Don't eat them on. I have to let them come out because I've opened the window. The little kind of thingy. Now they can come out. Susan, do you think they have grown well? Yes. yes I like that little yes, one with the real feather on the top of his head. Little yeah. feather bunch. That's the leg bar. Feather, sorry, yeah, feather, mm. yeah. That's the leg That's bar, the crown huh? of the leg bar. Yeah. Oh. That's the, oh, that's <coughs> that's the uh, one I see, the little one. That's oh, the male leg bar. That was a very big, chubby bee. Well, it's going to be a rooster. I hope not, but it may be. Yes, he's, he's a rooster. He's yeah, you can a see. Rooster. He's already getting red. Hormones are pushing mm. up, pumping yes. up. Huh? So this is the one who is damaging. He's a curious one. This is the boy. I think they like tomatoes. We sometimes put a few tomatoes for them. And that is the strawberry
This is the chicken mass. Mass is a colleague of my wife. She's very uh, agile, you know, posh, youngish, <laughs> vibrant, outgoing, happy. She, uh, she's a very young hen. We, we had it from egg. It was born in the March 21st this year, 2016. So she is now about six months old. <laughs> 